IS is everywhere in organizations. If you think about today's organizations, you can think about a great deal of data that they collect about their customers and about their competition on a daily basis. Think about social media. It involves people throughout the organization, involves customers, so you've got this big move toward big data. There's so much data that organizations have access to, and they need to be able to understand it, organize it, and manage it. Coming out of UC Berkeley, I considered myself to fully be an engineer, and so I started working at an engineering consulting startup. I was there for about two years. I knew that I wanted to go and learn more about uh, business and entrepreneurship, and so that's why I decided to uh, come back to school and uh, decided to come here at U of A. I was working as an HR manager, and uh, I was handling the uh, technology, the HR operations, and that's where I got to know more about technology and its functions in an organization. And uh, it's not just the, the IT, it's also the people using it, the people making it that make a difference. When I came to know about the functions or the roles that an MIS graduate is offered, that sounded interesting to me in terms of that involves the technology aspect as well as the people aspect. <laughs> MIS 585 is really more about IT appreciation. I want the students who take MIS 585 to come in and get a broad understanding of the technologies that are used in today's organizations and then be able to take that knowledge and make decisions about technology going forward. So from what I learned from Suvan's classes, I saw that it was not just the technology. I got a chance to interact with the people, I spoke to them, I came to know that it's not just the technology that's the problem they don't know how to use it, so they don't see a value in it. So it does not make sense if you spend $10,000 or $20,000 on it. My first consulting project was with Intuit. This happened during the second semester of my first year. I was the team lead for that, and we were working with their uh, customer care department here, which is here in Tucson. Uh, working to create a resource allocation strategy and model for the customer care department. Currently I'm working on another field project or a consulting project. Uh, this one is with Microsoft and we're working with their enterprise architects to update a model that they're using in order to go into client organizations and assess the level of their maturity in terms of their business intelligence capabilities. Today, more and more, we're actually seeing that CIO is on the path to CEO. So people who are interested in the functional areas like marketing and finance, who have an affinity for technology and an interest in technology, are actually moving into the CIO role on their way to becoming the leader of the organization. Even as an engineer or even as you pursue your further career ahead, it is important that you develop certain soft skills and certain ways of managing people, managing projects. We were not just learning theory, we were also applying it, implementing it to cases and to our consulting projects. And that was a really enriching experience that took me to the next level. When I graduate, uh, from the LR MBA program within a concentration in MIS. I'm going to have a very solid uh, understanding of how information systems work and that can be applied uh, to any organization that I might go into. Mm -hmm.